Hi guys, today I will show you Cyanogen Mod 12.1 in Galaxy Grand Prime. So today I flashed it at morning. So uh, here you can see the notification. It uh, look like uh, stock Android. Basically, it looks like stock Android. Here are the connections, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything works fine. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is uh, working fine. Actually, nothing issue. Bluetooth is also working fine and and uh, uh, SIM cards, all the SIM cards are working fine and yeah sounds, uh, all the sounds are working fine as you can see and media volume obviously it's working and the only, um, the only problem is that uh, the camera the camera is uh, okay but when you try to focus it uh, it just freezes and starts to shake awkwardly it uh, starts to move uh, video awkwardly and as you can see my wi-fi is working just fine everything is working fine the messages are also this is the messaging app it's working fine is the dialer and as you can see as all are working fine so here's the web browser this is also working fine now let me show you this is the audio effects obviously every Sanogen mod has this uh, tweak to customize your uh, customize your speaker volume this is the file manager Sanogen mod file manager then uh, there's the music the music also works fine no issues and this is a uh, these are Google apps. Uh, Google app. Uh, these are the. These all are the Google apps. Play games. So actually, I have flashed the yeah, Google apps. Actually, I have flashed the Pico one, which is a very flash, uh, smaller than Nano one, and uh, it just has the Google Play Store and the um, uh, Google Play Store services. And. Uh, yeah, it uh, work, it's working fine. Here's a calculator. Everything is working fine. The contacts and the gallery is also working fine. And the Play Store, the themes, obviously. Sanogen mod, it supports many kinds of themes, various themes. Everything is working video, WhatsApp, and let me go to settings and show you the sign, uh, overview and this is the sound section it's working fine oops sorry this is the display and lights or uh, this is the brightness which you can customize adaptive brightness uh, it doesn't do something like it just brightens the screen as it doesn't have the auto brightness sensor so it can can't work the themes the themes are also supported in this and uh, sorry lock screen and uh, here's a pattern basic here are the buttons which you can customize uh, for power menu you can uh, give the reboot menu screenshot airplane mode anything you can give and uh, you can also give the home button as your uh, for answering the call and for long, yeah, many customization actually i would say is a sanogen mod uh, there are many tons of customization and gestures also supported uh, whenever i lock the display and uh, if you wave uh, if you wave uh, your hand on the proximity sensor the display wakes up and it's perfectly working fine no issues battery the battery is very 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 good actually i would say it's uh, better than before the security security is also fine system profiles nothing fancy status bar so here are the customizations for uh, you can give the battery still like circle text for uh, i have given the circle as you can see you can also give the brightness control from here as you can see the brightness is brightness control is working fine and let me increase the brightness oops sorry and uh, here are all the apps which i have downloaded nothing much of apps all other stock apps nothing fancy 
man. The RAM management is very good actually. I would say the RAM management is very good. What it was before, it uh, is better than before uh, what it was. And GPS is also working fine. Everything is working fine actually. Just the camera issue. I hope it will be soon really fixed. And as you can see, it's running on the Lollipop Android version 5.1.1. And here's the Synergen mod. So obviously, it's good actually to have Synergen mod. And yeah. And uh, how to install it? Uh, I will be giving in the description box uh, for how to flash it. Very easy process. You can do it by yourself. But please make sure you have a custom recovery and uh, root access. Obviously, that's needed for installing Synogen mod. Otherwise, you cannot flash. Hope you like the video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And all the download links will be provided in the description box. So check it out. And yeah, peace.